What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. And it is about mid-July, so you know what that means for Treeb Talks, right? It's time to do position outlooks for my favorite team, your favorite team, and your mom's favorite team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially roughly about eight to nine Sundays away from the NFL season. And you know what I like to do around this time. I like to talk about the position groups for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And that's what we are going to be talking about today. And I decided I wanted to start with one of the more interesting position groups for the Jacksonville Jaguars heading in to the 2021 season. And that is the running back position. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars 2021 position outlook for the running backs. So let's start this thing off by talking about the cast of running backs heading into the 2021 season for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And in my opinion, this is, you know, the most reliable and stout position group for the Jacksonville Jaguars, at least on the offensive side of the ball. I can see the argument being made about the wide receivers, but when I ranked the position groups heading into the season in another video, I already addressed about how, you know, the wide receivers, they all kind of bring the same thing to the table. I don't really see, you know, a wide receiver that kind of separates himself from the pack other than, you know, maybe LaVisca Chenault, who's kind of that gadget guy, breaks a lot of tackles and is kind Kind of different from that group of wide receivers but when you got guys like dj chark marvin jones and uh colin johnson those are three guys that you know technically kind of just do all of the same things very very similar but they do it well right you know they got three guys that do the same thing but they do it well and hopefully trevor lawrence you know can bring the most out of them but in this running back room right you got three running backs who all three kind of bring something different to the table. So let's talk about, you know, as of right now, the running back three on the roster, and that is the best ever Jacksonville Jaguar running back. Making his return to Duval County, how can we forget all the contributions that this man has made to Duval County? How can we ever forget the amazing year that this man had for the Jacksonville Jaguars? And of course, I'm not talking about Fred Taylor. I'm not talking about Maurice Jones Drew no I am talking about Carlos Hyde Carlos Hyde is back with the Jacksonville Jaguars and according to Urban Meyer this is a man that is going to be getting his reps it seems like you know all three of these running backs Travis Etienne James Robinson and Carlos Hyde are going to be seeing you know some sort of playing time and I'm about it you know, if you have a talented running back room, why not kind of sprinkle them all in there? And, you know, in my opinion, you know, Carlos Hyde is a guy who's worked with Urban Meyer before, but if you're trying to get the most out of a running back who is obviously past his prime and a running back who has never really had a prime that is, you know, something to write home about or something that's incredibly spectacular that you're like, oh, Carlos Hyde's a top 10 running back, you need him. You know, putting him in that kind of running back three you know, key scenario role is where you kind of want him to be. You know, when he was in San Francisco, you know, San Francisco's kind of that team that has that, you know, three running back system all the time, you know, always using their running back. So Carlos Hyde's kind of used to that kind of that kind of role. So I think that is perfect for Carlos Hyde. And I think that's kind of a you know, a dark horse guy, not necessarily a guy that is, you know, uh, a sneaky dark horse that's going to get, you know, 500 yards rushing and 300 yards receiving, but a guy that's going to contribute, you know, i.e. Corey Grant back in the, you know, Jaguars dark years, you know what I'm saying? Like, a guy that was... You know, he wasn't the feature back by any means, but, you know, back when the Jaguars had, you know, Leonard Fournette, TJ Yeldon, and Corey Grant, you know, and they used all three of them kind of effectively, you know, that's going to be kind of what Carlos Hyde is. You know, while, you know, Travis Etienne kind of mimics the style of Corey Grant, Carlos Hyde is going to be kind of matching the reps that Corey Grant got in game. If you, if you kind of catch my drift, if you understand what, what I'm saying. But, you know, Carlos Hyde is a downhill runner. And, you know, he, he left Jacksonville, you know, not really on good terms last time. But, you know, the new era of Jacksonville, you know, this new look Jacksonville. Hopefully, you know, he wouldn't have came back if he didn't believe what they were doing on paper. So I think Carlos Hyde is a dark horse guy 
that is uh, going to contribute at least the best that he can. Now let's talk about the other man in the room. And the man, th this is just some things I don't understand, right? Like, we're talking about Travis Etienne here. And Travis Etienne kind of sparked some controversy, controversy um, amongst casual um, NFL fans talking about how, you know, you have James Robinson, right? You know, that is your guy. And he just had, you know, however many, a thousand yards rushing. He was third in the league in all-purpose yards or third in the league in rushing yards, whichever one it was. And now you're bringing in Travis Etienne. That's a slap in the face to uh, James Robinson, right? You know, when you think about it, right, like every team needs a good complimentary running back. And the Jaguars would have been running with James Robinson and Carlos Hyde. Now, everything that I just said about Carlos Hyde, if it was just Carlos Hyde and James Robinson, I, I would not be okay with that, you know, right? I would not be okay with Carlos Hyde getting that much snaps. But the fact that you got that talented of a player and you probably weren't going to get him in the swing around because, you know, you know however much you want to believe the Steelers were sold on Najee Harris, and I think Najee Harris kind of fits that Pittsburgh Steelers mindset and that Pittsburgh Steelers running style. I still think Travis Etienne was the best running back um, in the draft this year. And, you know, lo and behold, the Jaguars were able to give him a selection, play with his old college quarterback, and give him the best opportunity to succeed in the system. And I think he's going to play extremely, extremely well. Now, that's where I kind of go back to talking to the casuals and talking to people on fantasy football and people who make depth charts, Travis Etienne is not going to be the every down back. Like, and you know, I've been doing mock drafts for fantasy football, getting ready for the season. I just recently did uh, the dynasty draft with the crew and you know, he is listed above James Robinson in fantasy points. And whether that is just, you know, on a PPR basis, I can see that like maybe, Maybe just like on a point per reception basis because, you know, James Robinson's going to be more of just, you know, getting a carry and running downhill. But other than that, you know, you're going to be seeing James Robinson in the backfield more than you're going to be seeing Travis Etienne in the backfield. He may be getting a little bit more receptions. I mean, early on in the season, you know, you've seen him kind of getting some reps at wide receiver. And, you know, that made a lot of people mad for no reason. I don't get that either, but... You know, there's 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 a lot to be said about Travis Etienne. He's versatile. He can split out. He can do a lot of good things at any, you know, position on the field. And he gives the Jaguars options. He gives a rookie quarterback, you know, the familiarity with a guy that he's played with in the backfield for the last two years. I mean, these guys were ballers at Clemson. And you put them in a new system in the NFL with some familiarity. And you give them some weapons as well. That was a great draft pick, and Travis Etienne not only helps Trevor Lawrence succeed, but Trevor Lawrence helps Travis Etienne succeed with, you know, bringing everything that he can to Jacksonville. And, and I'm very, very excited to see how he plays because I think he's going to be a, a big part to the Jaguars' success this season. He's not going to be the bell cow running back. You know, we still haven't talked about, you know, James Robinson and what he's going to be bringing to the table this year. But Travis Etienne, like I said, he's going to be stretching out wide. He's going to be catching screen passes. He's going to be doing a lot for the pass game, in my opinion. But um, what he's going to be doing for the run game is yet to be seen. And uh, I'm very excited. Very excited to see how that guy how that guy develops this season. Now, if we're talking about the bell cow of the operations and the man that is going to be getting the carries, you know, we got to talk about that man. We got to talk about James Robinson. James Robinson came out of nowhere last year. You know, no one knew how to game plan for him. Undrafted rookie and had a lot, a lot of success. Played in every game except, well, okay, no, he didn't. He didn't play towards the end. But, you know, whether that injury or because, you know, the Jaguars were going to lose regardless. You know, whether whatever you want to believe. But, James Robinson is a reliable running back. Now, you have the argument, you know, people are going to game plan for James Robinson, right? That's where Travis Etienne comes in, swap him out, and now you have a gunslinger of a quarterback, the generational talent in Trevor Lawrence, and you got James Robinson in the backfield. This is what you want to keep people off balance. I'm very excited 
for James Robinson this year because, yes, he was unexpected last year, but I feel like this year, too, for some reason, he is still slept on. He's still flying under the radar, and this season might even be better than what it was last season because people are going to be even more zoomed in and more focused on not only Travis Etienne, but Trevor Lawrence as well. You know, everybody's going to be thinking, hot young rookie. This is going to be a guy that's going to be passing the ball a lot. Rookie of the year prospect, generational arm. But you got to remember, they got a top five running back in that backfield by the name of James Robinson, and a lot of defenses are going to be game planning for Mr. Trevor Lawrence, and a lot of defenses are going to be allowing a lot of running lanes for Mr. James Robinson to have another successful year. And James Robinson, I think this year, is going to be the key and, you know, just the motor of what keeps this Jacksonville Jaguars offense going. And, you know, don't be surprised by the end of the year if, you know, we're tipping our hats more towards James Robinson than we are towards Trevor Lawrence, you know, because you look at how well these quarterbacks in the NFL right now are doing on play-action passes, right? You got a guy that can make any throw right now, and if you see how well he can do it on play-action too because they're biting because you got such a good running back in the backfield – this is where even the wide receivers benefit, right? Where the Colin Johnsons, the LaVisca Chenaults, the Marvin Joneses, dude. All these wide receivers are going to benefit, and they have James Robinson to thank for that because they can't, they can't, you know, they can't do anything because they can't trust if Trevor Lawrence is going to sling the rock or if James Robinson is going to break out for a 16-yard run. The backfield of the Jacksonville Jaguars is going to determine how good the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be in 2021. It comes down to James Robinson, and it comes down to Trevor Lawrence. How crazy is that? An undrafted rookie and one of the highest praised rookies of all time are going to control one of the most disappointing franchises of all time to take it to the promised land, and I could not be more excited for those two to change the outlook, to change the future of the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. And that was my 2021 position outlook for the running backs. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, you can check all the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Treep Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Treep Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Fawn Pixley. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.